Hello friends, I'm Naishek from blog2.com and today in this video, I'll show you the easiest way possible to migrate or transfer your website from one domain to another domain or from one hosting to another hosting. Now, as you can see, there's an example on your screen. This is my website blog2.com. You can see the complete website over here. Now I have transferred or uh, not transferred. I have simply copied the same website on another domain. Now, if you see, this is fam.in. This was blog2.com. This is fam.in and this is the exactly same website as you can see. All the comments, all the slugs, all the permalinks, all the content, media, database, everything will be copied. And this is the easiest way that you can do. For example, if you open this page, resources and discounts, and if you open the same page over here, here you'll see the slug is resources for building the perfect WordPress website. And here as well, you'll see the same thing. So everything is copied. If you see over here in this bar, in this admin bar, it says that 39 comments over here also 39 comments. So even the admin, uh, the media, the comments, pages, post, everything will be copied in the best and perfect way. Now, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. If you have already done that, then click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future updates. If you like this video, if this video helps you, then give a thumbs up and also share this with your friends. If you have any doubt, any suggestions, any comments, you can leave them in the comment section below. With that being said, let's get into it. Now for this video, I'm considering two scenarios. In the first scenario, I'm considering that you already have a website, for example, like this blog2.com, you have all the content and you have a domain name uh, like this and you have installed WordPress on this one. Now you, now you want to move this website, this complete website to this new domain. Okay, so this is my first scenario. And my second scenario that I'm considering is that you again have a website, but you want to move the same website. This time you don't want to change the domain. The domain should be same. The website should be same. You just want to change the hosting. For example, you're on HostGator. You want to move to TMD hosting or you're on A2 hosting or SiteGround and you want to move to a better and faster hosting like TMD hosting. So I'm considering that in the second scenario. So suppose you are on host data and if you want to move to TMD hosting, then that is useful for you. Okay. I'll show you step by step how you can do that without messing anything. Okay. So let's start with the first scenario here. I have a website. For example, if you see fahim.in and I have a domain name, I have just installed WordPress on this domain. This is actually a subdomain test.nashik.com. Now I want to copy the entire website, all the pages, all the posts, media, usernames, comments, everything to this website. Okay. Now let me show you how you can do that. First, go to your dashboard. Okay. So simply click on over here or what you can do. You can type in your domain name, put a forward slash and type in WP hyphen admin. You will be redirected to this dashboard section. Now, the first thing that you need to do is install a plugin, which is a free plugin. So don't worry about that. Simply hover plugins and click on add new. All right. Now you can search for all in one WP migration. Okay. Let us see. All right. So this is the plugin that you have to install all in one WP migration. It has got more than a million active installations. So that is great. Now there's a new update over here. So instead of this update, now you'll see install and activate button. So simply install and activate this plugin. Once done, you'll see a tab over here at the left hand side, which says all in one WP migration. Hover that and click on export. Now from here, click on export to and select this thing file. Okay. So this will prepare a file for you. So the size of the file may vary from site to site. If you have a lot of posts, for example, here, as you can see, it is 397 MB. Uh, the size may increase or decrease according to the uh, website that you have. So you can simply click on this button. It will start downloading it, but I don't want to download that because as you can see, I have already downloaded this file. So once you have this file, what you can do, you can go to the other domain. This is the other domain. Again, go to the dashboard. Now what you can do, you can simply hover plugins, the same thing, click on add new 
and here also you have to install the same plugin so let's type in all in one okay so you'll see all in one wp migration click on install now button now let's activate this plugin all right guys so as i said you earlier once you do that you will see this tab over here now this time we have to uh, hover this and click on import and so click on this button import from click on file now simply select the file that you have just downloaded so this is the file okay as you can see this is 395 mb so select this file click on open now it will start importing the entire website it will import everything as i said you earlier the database username everything so this might take some time a uh, few minutes uh, depending on the size of the website I think it will take around five minutes or less than that so by that time i may pause this video or if possible i'll fast forward this video okay so that you don't have to wait until this reaches 100 percent all right guys now as you can see this took around 20 minutes and after 20 minutes i am seeing a screen or a notification or a pop-up like this okay so this import process will overwrite your website including the database media plugins themes Please ensure that you have a backup of your data before proceeding to the next step. So simply click on proceed. Now it will, you know, prepare everything for you. You don't have to do anything. And it, as you can see, it is restoring around 7,262 files. So that is great. Now this step won't take long. It will take less than a minute, I guess. So let's wait. All right, guys, so as you can see, now we see that your data has been imported successfully. So you can simply close this thing. And now wherever you click, you will be asked to log in again. And you have to enter the credentials of this website. OK, the website from where you downloaded the file, the website from where you exported the file, actually. OK, so you will have to enter those credentials and click on login. All right, so. I think it was this. Let's click on login again. OK, now you see everything is looking perfectly. You have all the same plugins, all the same settings. Everything has been imported. Now let's visit this website. Let's see how it looks. Now, as you can see, we have the exact same website. OK, now let's go to this page or any other page and you see the slugs now again you will see 39 comments over here so everything is just same okay nothing is changed all the media everything is present over here so this is how you do that this is how you transfer or migrate or copy your website from one domain to another domain now you can have both the domains or if you want to have only one domain for example if you want to have only this domain what you can do you can redirect this old domain to this one okay so whenever someone clicks or goes to this domain they will be redirected to your new domain so you can do that that would be great all right guys so we are done with the first scenario and our next scenario is that you have a website for example again in this case also we we are considering a uh, fahem dot in so we have a website now i want to move this website to another hosting plan okay for example this is i guess on i think it's on side ground this uh, yeah this is on side ground i guess yeah this website is on side ground now i want to migrate this to tmd hosting so that i can get better performance uh, better security and faster speed so i would highly recommend you guys to go with tmd hosting that is the best hosting provider in the market they provide cloud hosting at a very affordable price you can see the link in the video description below simply click on that link and go ahead and migrate to tmd hosting and this a uh, coupon code that you can apply that will give you seven percent discount all right so let's see how we can do this thing first let me cut all these things okay so first of all uh because you already have a website which means that you have signed up with some company so whenever you sign up or create account with any hosting company you receive a mail like this for example this is the mail for tmd hosting this is for host creator this is for a2 hosting i have uh, and you may also have your website uh, domain and uh, website hosted on godaddy 
okay so for example when you see this tmd hosting or let me go to a2 hosting because this website is hosted on a2 hosting or not a2 i guess side ground i forgot that i guess it is side ground so whenever whatever the company is you will see in this mail there is something called client area for example you can see this link you can click on this link and you will go to client area okay so whatever uh, website whatever hosting plan you're using you will always see this client area for example here also you have this client area login here also you have this uh, client area somewhere uh, here it is client portal you know this link so let's cut all these things and you know for it for site ground also uh, there is a client area so that is called ua.siteground.com now again in this example there could be two scenarios in the first scenario it might be possible that you have both the hosting and the domain on site ground and in the second scenario which is very much common uh, you might have your domain name on godaddy and you might have the hosting on a uh, site ground so first of all uh, we have to change the dns settings and before that uh, you have to pro follow the same process i don't need to tell that you have to go to this website okay what you can do you simply go to this website install this all in one wp migration export the file okay just like what we have done earlier export this file download that file whatever the file that you get okay and after that you have to follow these steps okay so suppose your do your domain name uh is on godaddy so you can simply click on over here click on my products to see your domain name okay as you can see we have this thing over here fahem.in or if your domain name is on some other hosting plan for example uh, let me go to this because I'm not going to SiteGround because I don't have any domain on SiteGround. That's why. So I'm going to uh, A2 hosting. So you go to client area of A2 hosting. I'm showing you both the things so that you, you know, even if you have the domain name on the same plan or on GoDaddy, you can follow these steps. Okay. So as you can see here, I have one domain. And if you don't see the client area link you can simply type in for example if you are using hostgator you can go to google type in hostgator client area or client portal you will see a link as you can see portal.hostgator.com this is the link so you will see that link now as you can see here we have a domain name uh, this is the domain name you have to click on this wrench icon or most of the time it will say manage so you have to click on that manage button all right, now I have many different options over here. I have to change the name servers. Okay, so these are the name servers at present. Okay, and for this thing, uh, if you see, uh, this is another domain, okay? And for example, here we have, uh, this is how you do on hosting and this is how you do on GoDaddy. You have this domain name over here, you click on DNS. Okay, here also you'll see your name servers. So this is what we have to change. Now, first of all, you have to go to your client area your cpanel so whenever you want to go to cpanel uh, this is the cpanel of the new hosting where we want to move so suppose i want to move to tmd hosting i can go to my mail and check out that link okay here is the link client area i can click on this link okay so it will ask me for my email address and all those things so i can simply click on login okay and all these things you will get it over here okay so you simply Put this thing and come over here now we have to see what is our name server so in fact you don't even have to come over here to see the name servers you can see your name servers are over here so what you have to do you have to simply copy this name server from here come over here click on change paste in the first name server which is this so let me copy this theme uh, till over here let's paste over here okay copy the second name server okay copy it from here paste it over here and click on save and in this case also do the same thing copy the name server one and two from here and click on change name servers now after you click on change name servers it will take some time to change the name server of your website at present you won't see any changes on your website so sometimes it might take around 24 hours but most of the times it will take just uh, within one hour or a few minutes okay so it, it it all depends so you can wait till then and till then let me explain you what you can do now by the time those name servers are changing let's do one thing 
go back to that mail that you got from TMD hosting. This is the mail that you get when you sign up with TMD hosting or any other hosting. Now at the bottom, you will see this control panel link. Simply click on that link. And here you have to enter the username and password. So you can simply copy your username, FTP username, cPanel username and password from here. Paste it over here. Okay, let me see and click on login. All right, so once you come to this, what you have to do, you have to click on add on domains. Okay, click on add on domains and put in the domain name that you want to transfer. So in this case, we want to transfer fahem.in. Just put in this much fahem.in and in the subdomain type in fahem, it will automatically type actually. In the document root also type in fahem.in and click on add domain. All right, as you can see, this says the domain name uh, has been created. Now you can click on go back, click on cPanel. Now you can go at the bottom and click on WordPress. This you will see under Softaculous app installer, click on WordPress. Now click on install now, search for fahem.in that you have just created and delete this thing from here, WP, okay. Make sure you have selected HTTPS so that you get the secure socket like this one, secure HTTPS. But for now, I'm just selecting HTTP. You can change the site name, site description, but you don't need to do these things because everything will be changed automatically. So you can select a username from here, but it is not very useful because you have to enter the username and password for the website uh, from where you have, you know, exported the file. Okay, so simply put in username password, go at the bottom, click on install. This will take some time. And let's see what happens now. As you can see, we get two uh, URLs. Let's click on the second one, fam.in slash WP admin. This says the page could not be found. Now that is happening because I think the name servers have not yet changed. So that is basically why it is happening. Okay. If the name server has changed, you will see something different. Okay. You will see a blank page over here or uh, whenever you install a new website, you get that boring page. You will see some page like that. Okay. So again, this will take some time. Uh, this might take a lot of time actually. So I will have to pause this video. Whenever the name servers are updated, I'll continue and show you what you can do after this. Okay. All right, guys. So as you can see over here, finally, the website is now changed and this is how it is looking. Now we have to click on over here on the dashboard and we have to follow the same and simple process. Let me show you how you can do that. Simply Howard plugins first dismiss this Howard plugins, click on add new and let's install the same plugin again, all in one WP migration. All right, install now. Now let's activate this. Now we have to import the file that we have earlier exported. Okay, so first of all, we have to hover this and click on import. Okay, so this was the file. So I'll select this thing and click on open. And this will take some time obviously to import all the website data, all the pages, the post, whatever was present on that website. It will import everything. It will also import the database and all. Okay, so let's see how much time it takes. It should take hardly a minute or two. Now you have to click on this proceed button and it will start importing all the databases. So it will take a few more seconds. All right, now it's all done. You can simply click on this close button and go to your website. Now, as you can see exactly the same website, all the URLs, all the pages you can see, it's all the same. Okay. So everything, all the media, all the comment, everything is imported successfully. All right. So this is how you do this thing. Obviously, uh, going from one domain to another domain is quite easy. Uh, but from one hosting to another hosting, it's easy, but it takes some time because you have to wait for, uh, you know, 12, 13 or sometimes 24 hours. Okay. But this is quite an easy stuff. You don't have, you don't need any technical knowledge for this one. It's all one single click and it will do the thing for you. Okay. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you like this, give a thumbs up to this video, share it with your friends, leave a comment. If you have any doubt, any suggestion for me, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future updates. Thanks a lot for watching guys. See you soon.